Apart from pockets of containment centers, the day-to-day -day lives of people in India seem to be returning to normal as lockdown restrictions are eased. But these sites hardly reflect the real situation. India is fighting a tough battle with coronavirus. And for the capital city, Delhi, which has a big surge in the number of COVID-19 cases, the fight just got tougher. With the number of infections spiralling, there's great concern about the healthcare system's capacity to cope. In recent weeks, numerous reports have surfaced about people with coronavirus symptoms struggling to get access to proper medical care. Many are having difficulties even to get tested for the virus. Over the past few days, multiple incidents have come to light, especially in Delhi, where COVID patients have been turned away from different hospitals, citing a shortage of beds. Some of these patients ended up losing their lives. Mandeep Singh's family is one of many who lost a loved one in the pandemic. His father-in-law, Lagjit Singh, who was asthmatic, tested positive for the virus after hours of waiting in line. The hospital where the test was done became unresponsive to their calls and the family struggled for days to get proper guidance. Mandeep's wife, Amarpreet, even took to Twitter to share their ordeal. We tried ambulance numbers of private hospitals. Uh, they didn't respond. We reached out to some of the hospitals who blatantly refused that do not come to the hospital because we are not having enough space. Some hospitals clearly said, no, we don't treat COVID, we don't have beds. The hospital we chose was a government hospital, which was told to us is the only option available through the government helpline on that day morning. The doctor initially refused to take him in, saying that the test for this has been done in a different hospital, so you should go over there. And as we were trying to move to the other hospital, the father-in-law fainted inside the car. By the time Lakjit Singh received medical attention, his condition worsened and he passed away. Cases like Lakjit Singh's have put the Delhi state government under scrutiny, especially since its records indicate that there are enough hospital beds available to treat coronavirus patients. Some experts say the problem is not entirely due to the infrastructure. One reason is, you know, we have multiple agencies. We have the private and the government. In the time of pandemic, they should be working in, in a one umbrella, which is lacking. When uh, we are talking about the human resource, uh, human resource is quite scared of. You know, there is a lot of panic in the doctors. That is why they are not coming forward. With access to government hospitals becoming increasingly difficult, Delhi's private hospitals are charging exorbitant amounts of money, which makes the treatment unaffordable for most. The government says it is compiling new strategies to deal with the rising number of cases. But the steps taken so far seem to be falling short. And for many, it will be too late. Let's go to Delhi now for more on that. And Dr. Jugal Kishore, Secretary of Delhi's Public Health Association. We just saw him in that report. He also heads the Department of Community and Medicine at Safdarjung Hospital, which treats COVID cases. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Um, uh, what's the situation at your hospital? Are you also sending away COVID patients? No, we have a policy in uh, government hospital that uh, we cannot send anybody uh, out of our hospital. There are few hospitals in uh, government uh, site which can turn out the hospital and down. Otherwise, uh, a majority of the hospital and a bigger hospital do not have that policy to send back. But yes, uh, there are reports uh, from the private uh, hospitals where the patient can be you know, sent to some other hospital. So uh, that, that problem is there. I tell you that uh, we have large number of beds and hospital. Number of agencies are there, uh, government and private. So the number of beds is not an issue here. Uh, the problem is uh, the coordination. Uh, coordination between various agencies. If you remember that uh, our hospital, our government and private, and in government we have various agencies like the railway and uh, you know okay. defense and uh, so, labor. So you're all not, uh, different so you, agencies. So you're not having to send away uh, patients where you are. Uh, we're getting the reports that the number of infection rates are spiraling. Is that the case at your hospital? number of cases are increasing in number because of we were expecting that because 
Delhi uh, is having almost a two crore population that is almost equal to any big country. So uh, huge population and overcrowding expected that we are going to have large number of cases uh, and that has happened. Uh, the lockdown has delayed uh, that you know occurrence of uh, large number of cases but as we have eased out the lockdown, uh, the interaction between the population has increased manifold. And at the same time, the interaction of the different agencies to coordinate the, you know, function or or uh, containment of the pandemic in a professional manner has not been occurred. You know, it is more of management by the bureaucratic side rather than a professional like the public health or epidemiologist, you know, coming forward to handle this situation would have been much better. Okay, doctor, we have to leave it there. Good luck in, in all your efforts there at your hospital in Delhi. Dr. Jugal Tishore for us joining us today.